Ah, it's another wonderful day in the workshop. Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today, I'm going to show you how you can get much more use out of the router bits that you may have already in your cabinet. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do that. Now let's get started. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's a roundover bit that I want to show you for starters, and I'm just taking the screw off the top of the bearing. So here's the roundover, and here's the, the part that rounds over. But you'll, if you look closely, you'll notice that it's milled along the side here, so that's a cutting edge. But what a lot of people don't notice is that some of these bearings are actually milled along the top, so that when you often when you purchase the bearing, uh, when you ride along the side of something, this is only where it cuts. But if you take that bearing off and put on a smaller bearing, look at that. Now you're going to get a cut along the top, you can get a, the, the rounded part and a cut down the side. You can get a totally different profile on what the, what you're cutting. But you know what? Not all bearings are not all router bits rather are like that. Um, and, and I'm not criticizing this bit. It's just a different bit. It's the same round over. But if you look closely, you'll notice that there's still paint in the very top here. In fact, one of these is actually quite a bit taller than the other, so it, you really can't do that with every bit. So you're going to have to look at them uh, and maybe ask some questions to see if they do that. But with some bits, you can actually get different profiles, and that's what we're going to look at today. Now I'm just sighting down the top of the table here because I want this round over to be exactly right even with the bottom of the table. That looks good there. Now because most of these bits have bearings in them, I need to isolate that bearing, which basically means I need to make sure that that bearing is even with the fence. There we go. Okay, let's make a first cut. There's what that first cut looks like. Now I'm going to change the height slightly and I'm going to change the bearing on that bit. Okay, I tried to get those even, so let's test it and see how well I did. There you go. And there's the two profiles that you can get from that one single bit. Now I've installed another Freud bit in here. Uh, this one's a little different color because it's a little bit older bit. Um, but I'm going to do the same thing with it and when we come back I'll show you what it looks like. There now there's three examples that I made up to show you. And I did this last one here off camera and I've marked the back of every one of them so that I know because I'm going to be keeping these. But don't forget on the other side here, this is easily my favorite bit uh, because it does such a beautiful little round over. It's a 1 16 um, but also it does this profile and I use that from time to time because it just adds a really nice fine detail. This is a 3 8 and again, don't forget to you know, notice that it does this just this round over as well uh, as the profile, and the last one is the half inch. The next bit that I'm using is something called an OG or, or a Roman OG, and I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to show you a couple of different profiles that we can get from it, but I'm also going to show you how you can use it as a round over. So, again, I need to very carefully Make sure that the bottom of that round over is right at the table level. Okay, that's good. Now I also need to adjust where the fence sits. And the best way to do that is just to do that by eye. And I think that's good. Let's run that test. And there's that round over. And you can see it's done a very nice job of that. And that's from that OG bit. Now we'll do one profile 
Then we'll do another. And there's the three profiles that I got on that OG bit. So there's the round over and it's a nice round over. There's one height of the bit and that's one profile. Uh, but look at this one, you get a totally different profile by raising the bit a little bit higher and catching that bottom lip, you get another reveal. Now the last bit that I'm going to show you today, I can actually make four different cuts with this, but, but watch this. Look, I can cut a cove on here. I can cut a round over right there, and that's a 1 16th round over. Then I can do the entire profile. Then I can remove the bearing and do yet another profile. So I'm going to do all of these offline and I'll show you the results. Now there's the profiles from that one bit. So there's the cove, there's the 1 16th round over, and there's the profile with the bearing on and there's the readjusted one with the bearing off uh, and the fence to al allow this extra reveal on top. So pretty amazing what you can get from just one bit. Well that was fun wasn't it? All the different things that you can do with router bits, lots of different cuts that you can make. And there will be of course an article on Woodwork Web, there will be the pictures and all of the profiles, you'll be able to detail those. I'll put links to the different bits that I use so that you can go and look at them and research them. And when you're buying bits next time, take a moment to look around and uh, see the other options that might be available to you. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web, thanks for watching.